So, you know, we fought with Senora, stuff happened, and now she is dead. Let me rephrase that sentence in Mihoyo's word. Senora is slain. Now the debate has started between people who think she's still alive and people who think she's gone and gone for good. And she being playable and not. And for some reason, some people are connecting her to Fire Moth organization from Hong Kai. Because both are burnt moths, I guess. I sometimes really don't understand some of these stupid arguments between these two major factions in this grand debate of almost burnt out moth. Where am I in this debate? Somewhere in the middle, I guess. Uh, so if she's dead dead is over here and she's not dead is over here, I may be somewhere here. Uh, maybe a bit to this side. But today I'm not going to argue with these sides with my own back theory. And that was a lie and I will be giving my own opinion on this matter. So stick around to the end to see that and don't skip and for the people who think I'm going to talk about the Honkai theory I'm sorry I'm not going to talk about that before we start some of the next few many words I'm going to speak will have little to no meaning so take them with a grain of salt and if I offend your opinion that's not my problem this is my video without further ado let's see to the two sides of this argument First, I'll take the Copium side to show how not stupid and might be reasonable side. For anyone who doesn't understand what Copium is, are you living under a rock? For you who don't understand a single word I just said, this is Senora is not dead side. Okay, a prime example for this behavior is Mr. Tecton himself. Okay, so here's my theory. Okay? What if Senora is like a phoenix, you know? And like when she died, she didn't get cut in half. Like why did she turn to ashes? That's the exact same way a phoenix <laughs> dies. So what if Phoenix, or what if Senora rises from the ashes like a phoenix, right? Otherwise, why would, why did she turn into ashes? Okay, just give her a fried egg and she's fine. Well, she's not dead. I like his enthusiasm and that unmatchable energy and mad respects to him for finally accepting the lore and the great story behind Genshin Impact. So the points I saw coming from this side are to name a few, she didn't go out in a banger. That's kind of true but come on, there are 9 more harbingers left and if that moth lady takes over their job, what about them? Her character design is too good. I can see this too. These insane designs are the thing that runs Mihoyo for the most part. Mihoyo needs more money. Uh, that's also a good point and from what I heard, it took about 8 months to design her. But we have to remember Mihoyo made characters like this in the past. Those are the kind of copium reasons to say she is alive. Now, we are getting into my territory. Her body didn't get decapitated and fell down and died. Come on, she was hit by lightning as powerful as 100 visions by a literal god four times older than Senora. We are forcefully reassured that Senora is definitely dead and it's to mislead us. I can see this point too. Sometimes some writers do that to make players reassure that someone is dead and bring them back from the dead to surprise. But if we know that would happen, is that even a good surprise anymore? Your writers are better than that, right? Right? Her law says that she discarded her body and became the Crimson Witch. So she can't be killed since she's a flame herself. Now that's kind of stupid in my opinion. Cause nothing is eternal and did you learn anything from the entire Inazuma Archon quest? Just throw some cold water and everything will be cool. No, but for real, 
there is a reason she gave up on being a crimson witch and became senora with the cryo delusion her fortuity rank is number 8 which is the number of resurrection according to something in biblical myth or something similar that's a solid point too and a lot of religion and myths say resurrection or heaven as number 8 but genshin is not all about gnostic and biblical myths like in buddhism it resembles dharma chakra and that means arya ashtanga marga which essentially teaches how to live the resurrection cycle in sansara she is based off a moth and her fertility constellation is a moth so she can resurrect from the ashes okay now this has two sides and is very interesting so i'll rant about it in a bit now mostly all the not dead arguments are settled let's go to the bit more reasonable side where she is considered dead dead this is the kind of stupid one i found here she is dead and never will be playable since her design is too hard to animate and will get clipped everywhere listen mihoyo makes enough money and if they want they could fix them bugs with those big bugs okay i don't know if someone has thought of this but i speculated since unreconciled star event that if a character doesn't have a vision or a delusion or at least a fake vision or something on their body they are not playable since all the characters we got so far had that aesthetic choice in common senora doesn't have anything and now she is dead and not playable and uh, we have her crown thingy so at least this senora is dead we saw her scatter into ambers and after the battle this ominous green that was shown to confirm she is dead uh, what if mihoyo is playing a five head game and making us think she is not dead by saying she is dead two times and then confirming she is dead dead later to crush our hopes and dreams she need to die to let other harbingers take her place in collecting noses this makes too much sense mihoyo needs to promote other harbingers and we will eventually get annoyed by her like team rocket wherever we go this side has not too many arguments since they usually accept the elephant in the room now for my theory maybe more speculation than theory anyway i told you i lied earlier and now look where we are i think senora is dead no no not this one this senora is definitely dead but not her child not the child just child you see for this if you go back to where i said i rant more later this is where it comes i mean if you skip to here without watching i'll be a bit sad but what to do i'm in the past and you are in the present here's what i think happened when senora died she fused with the flames by discarding her mortal body right which should mean that she can't be killed with normal means but she was killed by overload you know the reaction so she popped but she discarded her body once so couldn't she do that again well we don't know what kind of voodoo magic she did so some say that she resurrected from the ashes right well that's a lie according to the bit of harry potter i know Jokes aside, she is referenced as a flame moth and not a phoenix. From all the research I did with the moths and butterflies moths and butterflies and moths, I couldn't find anything about resurrection or rise from the dead. The only thing that came up was this thing called metamorphosis. Ah, uh, not this one. Ah, uh, this metamorphosis. I think the senora we witness die from the Musono Hitotachi is dead. But since she is a moth, she might have offspring somewhere in Tevet. 
The best possible places are Mondstadt, where she was born and became the Crimson Witch of Flames, Sumeru, where she matured and learned whatever black magic she used, or Snezhnaya, where she gave up being the Crimson Witch of Flames and embraced the Harbinger of Powers. And maybe Senora's memories are stored in those offspring and whoever that is will carry her will. This reminds me of a certain Hersher of sentience from a little organization called Fire Moth who died but her body was restored and started doing what previous she was doing but 10 times cruel for some reason. Anyway, whatever happens, the Senora we know is gone and the playable Senora with this exact model will never come. But someone with similar features and probably equipped with a vision or a delusion will probably be playable. At least that's what my observations conclude. Thank you for watching and if you think she is definitely dead, drop a like and if you think she is still alive, then drop a like too, I guess. And tell me your theories and other stuff in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out my other theory videos and other stuff. And if you like them, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, stay safe and don't go chasing after moths.